We just heard Rick Carlisle kind of comparing the last two games, really good third quarters in both cases, but tonight you're able to close it out. What did you see as the difference this evening? Uh, I mean, like you said, you're just closing out. We were able to stick to the game plan in the fourth quarter, and, um, you know, that was a hard fart, hot fart game, and, uh, you know, you just had to buckle down and make one in place. From a confidence standpoint, after the last couple of games, you guys have played so well in first halves and didn't have a win to show for it. How significant is being able to pull this one out? Yeah, this one's huge. It's huge to be able to put this one in the uh, one column. And, you know, like I said, it was just a difference between making those one or two winning plays tonight that we didn't do yesterday. So You look really comfortable the last couple of games. What are you seeing? What are you feeling out there? Uh, you know, just free, playing free, um, you know, making the most of the opportunities my teammates provide for me and trying to help make those guys better at the same time. Overall, I think a really good night defensively. What do you sense enabled that? What was working? Uh, and we stuck to the game plan. We came we came fired up. Um, we knew they were a fast-placed team. We knew they were the highest scoring team in the NBA. So um, with that on our minds, we just had to make sure we took care of business on that side of the ball. You've got Cleveland coming up on Sunday. A lot of those same characteristics, good offensive players, a lot of weapons. What's the key to carrying that over here in a couple of days? Uh, physicality, locking in on the defensive side of the floor. you got some very, very talented offensive players over there. So uh, we've already seen them twice. Uh, both of those games are really good games, hard fought games. So, gotta gotta take what we learned in those ones and move it to the to one tomorrow or Sunday. Yeah.